What is going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark David and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. So as I focus on my dividend portfolio, there are some real estate investment trusts that I need to start buying more. Now I own these. They have done very well. They have a really good dividend growth history. Now you can consider it high yield more than 3%. Um, you can consider it more than 5%. I'm going to say 3% or more, a little bit of a higher yield as compared to other dividend stocks. But these three, I'm going to be buying a little bit more. Now, I really like high yield dividend growth stocks. And again, with real estate, I don't have time for real estate. I'm planning on moving somewhere probably by the end of the year, finding a new location. I plan on passing boards and going from there and figuring out a new location. I'll be shadowing probably in the fall a lot, trying to figure out where I'm going next. So I don't have time to scrub toilets, clean pipes, you know, if something happens with real estate. So this is why, like, Real estate investment trusts. Remember, 90% plus what they make go back to investors. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so not miss future videos. Smash that like button. Let's check out these REITs right now. And absolutely, I'm buying more Prologis. I have them now in my main part of my dividend portfolio. They're sitting at 109.40. They've been down. Average volume is 4.28 million. The market cap is 101.29 billion US dollars. This is probably, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, the biggest industrial REIT out there. Run circles around Stag. Stag can't, Stag is nothing compared to Prologis. Year range is 96.64 to 137.52. Day range is 108.46 to 109.96. Previous close is 109.16. Yes, this is one that I need to get to 100 plus shares because the revenue trends and dividend growth have been phenomenal. I'm gonna go over the recent revenue trends. FFO's pretty stable, by the way. So let's go over the revenue trends. Going over the recent trends, this is very attractive. So quarterly financials, it was up 89.36%. It was at 2.52 billion, that is beautiful. September, it was up 8.18%. Quarterly revenue is 1.99 billion. That was in September 2023. Revenue was up 8.66. I'm sorry, 8.66 percent, and it was at 1.98 billion. Now, recent quarterly March 2024 revenue was up 10.02 percent. That was quarterly 2.03 billion. Now, bigger is better. Again, they are one of the biggest real estate investment trusts and industrial real estate. Uh, investment trust out there. So, you know, for its price being down, FFO is pretty decent. Revenue is going well. They have to pay back their shareholders because they're making money. That's part of the rule of a REIT. I mean, that is phenomenal as a real estate investment trust. Let's go over their dividend history. This is what really has me attracted to them and buying more shares. I'm going to start in 2012. Quarterly dividend, 28 cents. 2014, 48 cents, 2015, 36 um, cents. I actually need to slow down because the dividend growth is so fast. 2015, 40 cents, 2016, 42 cents, 2017, 44 cents, 2018, 48 cents, 2019, 53 cents, 2020, 58 cents, 2021, 63 cents, 2022, 79 cents, 2023, 87 cents, and 2024, 96 cents. So it's almost at a dollar. Now, who cares about payout ratio? Remember, funds for operation is more important. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Dividend growth in five years is 14.02%. So if you bought one share, you made $3.84 with a 3.51% dividend yield. Now, you, again, you can argue what's a high yield. I'll just, I'm just going to consider it higher than 3%. Um, some people can argue five. I'll just say 3% or more. Um, that's pretty good yield and dividend growth. Five years, 14.02%. Let's check out the next REIT. This is a higher yielder one. 
This one has been taking a nosedive, and I've been capitalizing N and N REIT. It is a really good um, real estate investment trust, and I own them, sitting at forty-two twenty-two. Very similar to Realty Income. You can argue yes or no. It's been down. Has not recovered against the S and P, which is attractive for me. The average volume is. Uh, 764.60k market cap is 7.74 billion US dollars year range is 3438 to 4487 day range is 4176 to 4229 previous closes 4209 so their revenue trends have been very good FFO is decent as well their dividend growth is not too bad either let's go over their most recent revenue trends so in 2019 their revenue was 670.49 million 2020, it was 660.68 million. You can blame the pandemic. 2021, 726.41 million. 2022, 773.05 million. 828.11 million in 2023. So it is going up, which is very attractive for me as a dividend investor. And I'm going to jump to its dividend history. So I'm going to start in 2014. It was 42 cents, 2015, 44 cents, 2016, 46 cents, 2017, 48 cents, 2018, 50 cents, 2019, 52 cents. By the way, funds for operation is not too bad. So you see the pandemic, it was a little stuck at 52 cents, and then in 2021, it cracked 53 cents. Then in 2022, it cracked 55 cents. 2023, it cracked 57 cents. So Number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Dividend growth in five years is 2.41%. It's a little bit of a high yielder, 5.35%. So if you bought one share, you made $2.26. So this is one that I'm considering getting to 100 plus shares. Because look at this distribution. Now there's no guarantees with dividend growth, but you know it almost goes up two cents every year. Not guaranteed, but it's still pretty nice for its price. And this is why I've been buying them and own them. Let's jump to the next uh, REIT. And innovative Industrial Properties is another one. This one's a high yielder. There's a little bit of a risk with them because they're kind of a new kid on the block. They've been challenged during the pandemic as well. They're sitting at 107.73. I think they're a little bit overvalued. Average volume 177.40K. The market cap is 3.05 billion. Your range is 6908 to 11575. Day range is 10715 to 10898. Previous close is 10869. So I'm going to go over the recent revenue trends. The revenue trends for IIPR have been very well. The revenue in 2019, 44.67 million. That was up 202.07%. 2020, revenue was at 116.90 million. Or it was up 161.71%. 2021, revenue was at 204.55 million. It was up 74.99%. 2022, revenue was up 276.36 million. It was up 35.11%. I had to actually stop and like read this because these numbers are so nice. 2023, revenue was at 309.51 million. It was up 11.99%. So again, they are new. They haven't been, I wouldn't say that they have been challenged yet because, you know, funds for operation, things going on, regulations. So you have to be aware and do your due diligence when it comes to investing in these REITs. Be careful with this one. I own them. I've been buying shares. I really like them. But there's, you know, with the trends, just be careful, you know. Investing in the Mary Jane REITs can be very risky, so be aware of that and do your due diligence. Let's jump to the dividend history. I'm going to start in 2019. It was 60 cents to 78 cents, 2020 a dollar. Then in 2021, 124 to 132, then 140, and then 150. 2022, 175 to 180. Then in 2024, 182, and it just cracked 190. So the dividend growth in five years is 22.08%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is 13. You bought one share, you made 728 with a 6.76% dividend yield. With these three dividend stocks, I own all of them. 
I think the riskiest is IIPR. I'm willing to take a risk. So if you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I will have a video for you tomorrow. I've been posting a lot of shorts as well on days that I'm very busy and am unable to post a YouTube video. So make sure you hit that notification bell after you subscribe if you're new to this YouTube channel. You guys take care and have a great Saturday, and I'm going to jump to my disclaimer. So as a reminder, this is a disclaimer. Do not use my YouTube channel for any form of financial advice. This is strictly for entertainment purposes only. Yes, I do own IIPR. I own um, NNN REIT, and I own Prologis. I plan on being long in them unless something drastically happens. Investing is a big risk. You can gain money. You can lose money. So be aware and do your due diligence when it comes to investing. Investing, again, when it comes to investing, go see a financial advisor. Don't use my YouTube channel as a reference for finance. I am very straightforward with that. With the entertainment purposes only, a financial advisor is best for financial advice. Go see them. And for tax advice, go see a tax advisor. It is best to seek tax advice from a tax advisor. Don't use my YouTube channel for any form of tax advice. You guys take care and have a great Saturday.